empty back there. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another NECA Toys action figure review on AMC's Preacher TV series, Jesse Custer. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it right now. I'm big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to NECA Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, be sure to check the link in the description below. And finally, we got a new Preacher figure right here, the TV show Preacher version, but I am very excited to have Preacher and then you can see Dominic Cooper right over there and then right there on the side you get Preacher it says Jesse Custer action figure and then you can see on the back we get some park shot and then there's Cassidy and then on this side we get Preacher again and there's not much more at the top or much more at the bottom aside from the people who created this figure anyway let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's Preacher out of the packaging with his dukes up over here looking sick man I really like the sculpt for the shirt over here I think that looks really good we do have a very good head sculpt I'll get a closer look at that in a minute but yeah the back of the head looks really good too the hair sculpt looks great I really like the paint apps even though it's just mostly black it still looks really good and he does come with interchangeable hands and a few other accessories so let's get a closer look at those then we'll get a closer look at Jesse Custer so for accessories we get two sets of interchangeable hands here you can see that we get a pair of fisted hands and he still has a wedding ring right over there very cool nice looking gold paint so that shines very nicely right there. I like that. And I like the flesh tone on these. Uh, you can see this very light color gray for the thumbnail. And you can also see it on the fingernails over here on uh, the beer holding hand right over there. So they have that little detail in there. You still have the ring on the other open hand. Which kind of looks a little creepy, but it looks like his hands are just kind of dirty. I don't know. Still a little bit light color. But anyway, you get these two beer bottles, which look very good. I like these a lot. Nice deco on those. Pretty sweet. You get two of these. Don't look too bad. You also get the old timer coffee tin where he holds Genesis or where he gets the word and everything. So yep. That's pretty sweet. How that just pop off and put on get that right back on there, you know. It's pretty cool. Nice deco. Then he gets the blue hymnal right over here. So not looking too shabby at all. Nice gold paint once again. This doesn't open up or anything, but yeah. Nice detail right here. You can feel the pages are sculpted in there. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. And you have deco on both sides. I'd say that interchanging the hands is fairly easy. Uh, I would be careful though. Uh, these pegs are kind of thin and I've heard about them snapping. So yeah, just a little warning. You do want to be careful with that when you're putting these on or taking them off. So I gotta say, I think NECA did a good job of making this figure look like Dominic Cooper. I think it really does look like him, you know? Yeah, looking at some images over here. It looks like him, right? I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, man. I'm pretty pleased with this. I like the flesh tone. The beard looks really good over here, you know? Mouth looks pretty nice. I like the hair, he's almost rocking the pomp a little bit. And again, some nice sculpted hair right over there, looking at the top and everything. A eh, little bit of flesh smudge right there. But looking at the shirt, I think this looks really good, man. I like these little silver buttons. That looks really nice. Good looking wrinkles over here. Now, I don't like the paint chipping right there on the elbow. That kind of bums me out a little bit, so I have to pose accordingly. You know, the forearm looks pretty good. And again, we get some nice wrinkles in the shirt. You can see pack smokes right over there. Cigarettes, don't do that, all right? And then uh, look right here, get the rolled up sleeve, and then veiny forearm and everything, and knuckles again. And it looks like the black right here uh, from the waist down is just a little bit different, just a slightly different color black, you know? Just absorbs light just slightly differently, but you know, it's all black right here. And we get some nice seams sculpted, nice wrinkles and everything, very tight jeans. And this is like a big complaint of mine right here with the ankles, which I'll get into in a little bit. But I really like the sculpted detail on these boots. I think that looks great. Nice boots. Very cool. Looks like real crocodile skin. I like that. And then he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet right over here. Now for articulation, Jesse can move his head uh, just that far upwards. So yeah, wish you could look up more than that. Anyway, you can move the head downward that much. You get side to side movement over here. And you get some very good neck pivot right there. Uh, shoulders can move outward that far. They move down. You could rotate 360. And you also get rotation and rotation at the elbow. And uh, just about 90 degrees right there, you get a swivel. Uh, you get swivel at the wrist and it hinges up and down. It's on a ball joint right there and then you get the waist swivel right here and he does have this soft material it's like a little bit on the soft side not really really soft it's still on the you know fairly durable but you could see that um, there, there's like a little bit of bending going on on the inside right there so I could feel that there's a torso joint or a diaphragm joint in there but you can't really use it 
So it's kind of there, but it's kind of not there. So you get waist crunching forward and back, and it just does that a little bit. Uh, you also get waist swivel and some waist pivot. He has hip joints that move outward that far, and he can swivel at the top of the hip right there. Uh, he also can kick back just only that much. He has a knee joint that does not meet the 90 degree mark. It swivels at the knee. And then the ankle, uh, the ankle articulation frustrates me the most with this figure. It makes it kind of tricky to stand. Uh, you get side to side movement right here and you can move it down just a tiny bit, but not really. I'll just go back into place. It can move up just a little bit and the ankle pivot is very weak on this thing. And I don't want to push it more than that, but there's like zero ankle pivot there. And that bums me out because you got to give it ankle pivot, man. Now to measure out this Jesse Custer figure, you can see that he is standing right at seven inches tall. And then for a size comparison, we have the NECA Toys Preacher next to the NECA Toys Ash from Ash vs. the Evil Dead, or the Bloody Ash anyway. And they look like they're about the same height, so that looks pretty good. Then for another size comparison, we have AMC's Preacher next to the AMC's Walking Dead Negan. And you can see Negan is actually, yeah, a lot taller than Preacher, which I think is actually really appropriate if there's ever such a crossover, which would make no sense. Then here's Preacher next to your average 6-inch scale figure, the Marvel Legends Big Time Know That Down Spider-Man. You can see that Preacher is much taller taller than Spidey over here, so if you want to do any kind of head swapping or anything with Marvel Legends, I don't really think it'll fit into scale. So I picked up Preacher in about 2004, I think that's when I first read Preacher, and I've read it three times, and the book actually finished in 1996, I think, so there have been Preacher fans that have been waiting for a new Preacher figure for a very long time. Uh, we did get the DC Direct Preacher figures from quite some time ago, and those are severely outdated. So just the idea of alone of having a brand new Preacher figure just makes me very happy so that's something seriously to take into account for this because I'm just very pleased to have this in my collection I think that is awesome and it looks really good too I mean I'm not just saying I'm happy to have a preacher figure because it's a preacher figure it's a good looking preacher figure anyway I hope you guys thought this was a good review if you did please hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the figure let me know what you think of the review if you have not hit the subscribe button please go ahead and do so for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way and if you're already subscribed and you have not hit the notification bell please go ahead and do so so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. And then I gotta give a big thanks to these awesome people over here for help keeping this Shardimus Prime YouTube channel going. Thank you guys so much. Also, if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at toynewseye.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Ooh, links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!